Hi guys, thank you for being interested in this tutorial which I will talk about the plugins that I use uh, whenever I need a quick fill-in content uh, without wasting time and speeding up the work when I need some images, uh, generic text and so on. Um, honestly, I don't use plugins that change or let's say do the design work instead of me i don't like that i don't do that and all the stuff that i need to design i design myself but of course there are thousands of plugins that can do a lot of design work instead of the designers i don't do that but of course everyone is feel uh i mean is free to do whatever he wants and whatever he feels like it and that's okay uh so without uh, further ado let's just go ahead with that anyway so i mean i did i did this list i mean this is the main list of things that i used uh, that i'm using and these two actually are kind of like i don't use them on daily basis honestly but sometimes just to be inspired for icon designs uh, and this is when i need to split frames with content in them and i will show it let's say that i have this let's go for the first one which is called content reel let me just do four ellipse here and just auto layout them for now i'll put them like that okay so i have these four uh ellipse with kind of avatar images let's call it like that um i will select all four of them and now i can actually from here with the new setup that figma did here i mean new kind of like i guess two months ago or maybe a bit uh maybe a bit uh, more than that i don't exactly remember content reel okay so content reel run by the way installed plugins you can also with control or command p you can just hit this search here or get to it from here Okay, let me just once i can do my ui a bit bigger i guess it will help to see my screen bigger okay that's okay i mean the ui not that i'm talking about the ui on the sides so um yeah i've been checking here some plugins to see what they do actually sorry and uh so i can also from here by the way the quick actions i can look for the plugin which is called content reel and content reel i can start i can uh, log in by the way to log in it just uh, throws you to their website you can log in with your gmail and that's it if you want you can also use it without but it gives you this intro all the time uh, what you see here is home text image icon and add you can also add your own stuff if you want to so let's go for example you know what let's do it like that sorry let's do it like that and let me throw let's say here a name and do it like that let me uh hmm. let me throw it here and do these as their own auto layout and now it can be just like that and oh that's pretty big one so you know what let me just make it smaller yeah and okay let's do it like that we don't need these ones okay good so let's say that we have uh, this situation i want here four avatars and i want also names um let me see so let's go to images and here let's say that i can click here and by the way it's it's kind of weird in a way that i cannot actually select i mean if i click on this one it's gonna one second let me sorry let me select these uh, i mean you need to select the item that you want uh, the plugin to fill the image with and let's say that i click on this one so actually i mean i can go one by one okay if i want i can just select this one and give it this one or like that or like that or like that so i can do it like you know each one separate or 
I can just select all of them. If I'll hit one, as I showed, it's gonna fill all of them with the same one. And if I say apply all, it will do four different ones, but I cannot control which ones it's gonna put there, okay? So that's what I meant. But anyway, you can do it one by one or just hit the uh, apply all. You can either do it here, the same thing. Basically, it's the same idea, apply all, and it will apply all. Okay, now you can select a name. Uh, if I select all of them, I guess it's gonna behave quite the same. You can either do an email. So you have a uh, number, let's say hundreds. You have email, full name, lorem ipsum, US, full address, date. And so you have a few more. I mean, it has a few more things. Let's say first name that, oh, it did uh, all of them. Uh, actually give each one of them a different one uh, but uh, there is no logical connection between the name and the image so you know it can give you a let's say a female name on a uh, on a men avatar and vice versa okay so i mean a women avatar with a men's name anyway so you can just uh yeah this one is called Anne, which i guess it's less uh anyway <laughs> yeah something like that or a full name so i can just hit it or see here kind of a list and then okay wade and this one is going to be uh, a guy and that is going to be and so on so you got you got the main idea anyway so that's a pretty cool plugin i mean i do use it a lot i think it's pretty nice uh you also have here you also have um, kind of icons if you want. So it gives you also icons that you can use, but we have the Iconify plugin, which I will show that can give you really a lot of icons. I mean, a really big a choice of icons, but you can also have some here if you want. Not today to find icons, it's pretty easy. You have plugins, you have uh, also in the community, like whole files with a lot of icons, no biggie. Okay, anyway, so we have the UI faces. So let's say this one is done. Uh, by the way, Content Reel is a plugin that I'm using quite a lot. I love this plugin. It's really, really nice. So you should explore it and try it. Uh, UI faces, UI faces, it's only for avatars. But the thing is with UI faces, I don't think I installed it or I did. Okay, UI faces. So the UI faces actually, you can select from which websites you want it. Uh, you want the images to come from. I guess I'm gonna hit from all of them. You can put the age. Um, I don't know if it's that precise, but it's kind of, let's say, let's put here 30 to 50. I don't know. Uh, let's put only female. Let's put uh, neutral. And let's put, um, let's leave the hair color or let's put black just to see how it works. I mean, just to see, to try it out and apply avatars, apply avatars. And let's see what we come up with. Uh, basically failed. <laughs> Why is that? Okay, let's try this one. API fail provide avatars. Try modifying the filters. <laughs> really? You know what, it's not source. If I'll try this one. Oh, so, me. okay, now I got it. So meaning if I hit these ones, actually, I guess that I'm, I'm telling the plugin that I want my images only from these ones, I guess, or something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it looks like uh, now it's working better. Let's put only black. And let's see what happened. Yeah, kind of, I guess let's put only blonde. I just wanna see if it really does the job. Uh, failed. <laughs> okay, that was too uh, challenging, I guess, but you get the hang of it. So sometimes it works good. Sometimes, I don't know, it doesn't do such a great job or it can't really fetch the results. Yeah, it's kind of, anyway, you get the main idea. So. I guess it's kind of like uh, giving you more choices, but it doesn't work great in all situations. So anyway, just take it under consideration. So this one is done. I mean, I'm not working a lot with this one sometimes, but usually I do it more with content tree. 
Now Unsplash definitely great plugin that you can just uh, for any size of um, of shape either I mean if it's round or uh, a rectangle uh, or uh, each one or any one of these shapes you can put uh, an image into usually I guess it'll be kind of like uh, that or I mean either let me just take it here either like that or like that I guess that images usually are more or less uh, like that uh, and also sorry so let's go and use the unsplash that I can also write here just on unsplash yeah unsplash so I'm gonna run it and the unsplash is a big uh, is a big source for images you can freely just search here uh, essential presets so it gives you kind of these presets you can also search and it lets you also select from these filters what kind of images you want to import into your shapes into your file your shapes uh, let's say that I'm gonna search for uh, let's say uh, or not search just hit the animal I can this one and then it just fills this rectangle with this image let's take another one of course it's gonna do it in a way that if you take an image like that so basically because it's a uh, it's a uh, kind of like rectangular but uh, kind more of a landscape image than a portrait so here it's gonna do it kind of like in the middle I guess it's not gonna be perfect. Yeah, as I said, it's gonna take the middle of it and just uh, put it in the proportion. So when you make this image higher, and then, I mean, this rectangle higher, you're gonna see the image more like it is because that fits the proportions of this image. So yeah, so that's gonna be like that. Anyway, so that's pretty straightforward, Unsplash. Great plugin. By the way, it doesn't know, let's see, if I hit uh, two, and uh, I mean, I can't, let's say, uh, let it fill each one in a different image. If I hit one, it's gonna put the same one in both. So just take it under consideration, okay? So that's each one and that's the way it works. Okay, uh, okay, that's an interesting one. So we did good, unsplash, good. Majestic, okay, so Majestic, that is kind of like the new, uh, age or the new AI uh, text to image generate meaning you write something and it generates or finds you an image that uh, fits what you wrote which is pretty cool actually uh, and this is something which I see actually is a very good thing because sometimes you wanna you need an image and you are kind of like digging all over the place and you don't really find it i don't know how cool or how good really is it like in extreme situations i don't know if i really did any with it but let's see and try exactly how it works so let's look for majestic and run okay and let's see now what happens okay I, I did play with it a bit before the tutorial so here by the way i wrote just for you guys to know so here i wrote uh, a can of coca-cola on a light background so i got all these images i wrote here a tree in a field so i got these images uh, oh yeah, it gives the uh, what I wrote here, Coca-Cola can on a light background, a big tree in a field, a bear sitting on a car, <laughs> was kind of like starting to push it, let's say, um, I don't know, uh, let's say um, a ship near an island, let's see what it brings it. I just thought about uh, whatever comes into my head so of course it's it's working it's kind of like uh, you know doing the effort to bring you whatever you wrote but the thing is that yeah, it's like actually just writing a text and it gives you it should give you yeah <laughs> something similar to what you wanted to find so that's pretty nice I mean I don't know if it's the always going to bring you the 
I mean, the perfect results that you're looking for, but it's not bad. Uh, I think that here it's not gonna fill the rectangle. If I just hit it, then yeah, it just throws the image into my file, which is fine. That's okay. You can just place it whatever, wherever you want. Uh, so yeah, I guess again, it's not the best images or these are not the best images I had in mind, but yeah, basically uh, it does. Uh, it does do it not bad and you know there's the new all generations of dal e and dal e2 and all this um actually uh, in the last few months i guess big things are happening in the ai generated images meaning that you just write and it's becoming more and more and more smart and it's gonna do actually looking for images work much easier and much more uh, much smarter and faster and sophisticated so anyway i guess uh, the best is yet to come i can safely say that <laughs> so definitely um okay so majestic we kind of like went over it great uh lorem ipsum now lorem ipsum i use a lot when i do need and i use it a lot honestly but and there's always a but with three dots in life so here it's the same the thing is that in a lot of uh designs actually and especially to the online world i'm not talking about the print world is completely different but in the online world in a lot of um a lot of scenarios text is actually dynamic i mean it doesn't really matter what you write in the designs it's going to be a real uh, or an, a dynamic changing text uh, on the online world so it doesn't really matter what you actually write there now and I am separating totally separating never ever use lorem ipsum uh, kind of like a gibberish uh, look-alike text uh, never use it on titles buttons menus and all texts that are uh, there actually to explain the user what is going on on the screen okay or to guide or explain the user what's going on, on the screen i mean i'm talking about text like let's say just to let's say if you build a uh, an article content card so here actually or even a product uh, a product cube in a in a website so actually here let's say that you have a, a product cube this one, let's say, is an image uh, of a product. And here you have a text, which actually, it doesn't really matter right now what is going to be the name of the product, but you just want to see the font size and weight, and you want to understand how it actually looks. So let's say the font size is gonna be 20, and the weight is going to be, uh, let's say, medium, okay? Or regular, depends, doesn't matter. Uh, and now you want to see actually, so here I'm just lo looking for lorem ipsum. I'm using this one. Uh, there are a few lorem ipsum plugins which you can search for and use other ones if you want. I'm using this one. I find it pretty straightforward and comfortable and that's okay. That's fine to me. Uh, you can uh, select the number of sentences you want to generate. Sentences or words or paragraph. Okay, which is pretty cool or just generate a quick lorem ipsum into this one and that's it you have your lorem ipsum but well, this one i guess yeah it's pretty big <laughs> i see okay that's pretty big it should be actually like that anyway so you see we have this lorem ipsum uh kind of like that and that is fine and great to me and you can also do this one with truncating so if you truncate it and you do it like that there you go so this is kind of like a maximum of a two line name and you just want to see again design wise uh with let's say 20 pixels font inter font uh medium and you want to see how it looks so that gives you a pretty quick uh a pretty quick uh indication actually of what is it going to look like and again, if you do, let's say, a comment text or just an article text and so on, just to see how it looks, Lorem Ipsu gives you the very quick and easy way to see that. Even here, what is the 
size here that's 60 okay so we're gonna do big text and let's say that I want to see if they had a paragraph of text in between them how it looks so let's give it kind of like a 50 and a medium and let me again fire up this plugin again and let's do something like that and I can just put it here uh, oh they're not hooked up between them so anyway let's say if that was a comment okay I just want to see how the text looks on a comment and I'm designing one so here it is okay let me just hook them up um, and I want to see exactly how it looks sorry about that yeah something like that so yeah it gives you kind of like a quick indication because if I'm designing a comment for example or a comment thread so it doesn't really matter what is written here hi how are you blah 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 all that it doesn't matter so you just want to see actually uh, here I think that here a medium is too much I want to see it on regular yeah regular looks better and that's it it did the job fine for me I can leave it there for the designs anyway for the for the developers when they gonna go ahead and, and deal with that so all that matters for them is the font weight and uh, and the size of it and so on so that's it basically this is all the info that they need so let's throw it aside here good lorem ipsum done so as i said only for online changing dynamic content that you know that it's going to change all the time and of course not anything which has to do with guiding or pointing the user to the right action to the right page uh, explaining him anything on the page of course not that so that's not the meaning of it mapsicle if you want to generate maps you can either actually one second let me let us kind of like uh, throw all the other ones on the side uh oh you know what not these i want to show you later about just uh, find in page but anyway well, that's okay uh so mapsicle let me show you a wonderful plugin you can always by the way if i go into maps.google.com i can just yeah let's go into google maps and of course i can just look for an address something like that and of course I can go here I can take just a screenshot let's do something like that and I can just throw it into Figma and here I can just give it if I want to use in colors or black and white uh, I can either do it like that or select uh, you know how much colors or how colory do i actually want it so that's one option to do that by the way there's an app an api from google and you should actually try it uh, suggesting just um to customize maps so um yeah that's pretty cool no it doesn't uh, have to do anything with figma but it's just a very cool thing so i do suggest that it's uh, it's pretty good to learn how to use it uh, mapsicle let me just throw it here mapsicle yeah here it is so run mapsicle open mapsicle and now what it tells you to do is that you need to set a token actually i'm doing it for the i don't know 20th time already but it doesn't matter <laughs> set a token uh get your token from mapbox so it's gonna open mapbox um, and I'm going to do that. Oh, I hope I do remember my. <laughs> I hope so. One second. Uh, map. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, forgot your password. Let me try. Maybe I'm gonna. Yeah, I always forget my password here. And that is annoying, honestly <laughs> speaking. One second, maybe this one. Oh, <laughs> success. Okay, so anyway, don't forget your password to Mapbox. <laughs> I guess it's gonna come handy. One second, um, yeah. Hmm. This is the, I guess, create a token. This is a token, yeah okay copied good so here let's throw it here 
and set token okay we're in <laughs> okay nice so what is what can we do with this plugin well, let's yeah so with this plugin let me show you you can search for an address let's search for uh, New York New York City okay cool so we have that we can with the wheel of the mouse or we can do it with the uh, zoom here let's say I'm writing 20 so I'm zoomed in actually too much <laughs> something like that uh, no wait let me see how much is a good one. yeah let's do kind of like a, mm, let's yeah 16 yeah something like that 16 oh you know what yeah I'm being pretty annoying here sorry <laughs> that's 14 yeah okay so 14 is good you can just do like that actually you can't make it bigger which that is a bit annoying if I want to have like a bigger image of a map anyway I mean you just play with the zoom and then you get your right proportion so whatever you want in your map so that is one option so we search for an address we got it good uh, the other thing that we have we can decide which kind of image we want to when we create the map uh, what kind of image i mean what's the size sorry of the image we do want this image to be generated too uh, we'll see that and here we have the style so here you have the streets you have outdoors which is a bit different okay it has kind of like a different color theme and presents things a bit different <clears throat> sorry uh light which gives you if you want this is very good actually if you want to show some stuff that you do on a desktop map or an application map and you want to put let's say kind of uh, uh, location icons which are in different colors or put your stuff your uh, stuff that you're designing to the application but on a map that doesn't take too much focus because it has like too many colors on it so it's it's easier to show it on a map like that um, it's not perfect, but it's pretty nice. Uh, you have it in dark mode as well. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to drink something. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, satellite, which is, oof, wow. I mean, that is overwhelming. <laughs> Get to something like that. And satellite plus streets. So that gives you also the names of the streets. The One of the coolest things that you can actually do here uh, which is i mean it's pretty nice i mean you can show a map kind of like a tilted which i mean that here you can put let's say something like 10 so it tilts the map uh let's say let's give it a 30 so you see what happens let's say even 100 so yeah so you got something flat like that uh yeah i guess that 100 is a bit too much but i guess that putting here 50 or even 70 i guess yeah so that is already kind of like pretty cool so you can show a map like that and imagine you can show like standing icons like that even in like 2d which is pretty cool so you can take a, and do it uh, a map like this one you can also rotate it if you want give it like something like that or like that so you can have it rotated tilted it is pretty cool actually okay that's nice and let's say that we want an image a thousand on 500 yeah create a map yeah and there you go this is your image a thousand width in a 500 and then you can use it in your work designs and do whatever you want with it so mapsicle yeah pretty cool nice okay so mapsicle done uh we have contrast which is very important contrast is checking actually accessibility in your designs which is becoming i mean the world is becoming already became and becoming more and more aware of accessibility in designs in general okay basically there are two uh, there are two levels you should uh, put your mind into the AA is the, I said that the, the one that actually is a bit more easy to deal with and a lot of people, a lot of designs are actually referring to AA. Triple A level is very, uh, is very difficult. It's contrast like all, almost kind of black and white. So I'm just saying that maybe sometimes we leave the work to the accessibility plugin 
that will actually um, do the work like a harder accessibility access if needed to let me just give you an example let's say that i have a button here i give it uh, let's say this color and i want to see if a text okay and i want to see that if this text if it was for example let's say that this text actually was white okay and i want to see accessibility wise if it goes through okay in my opinion i mean not in my opinion i already know it doesn't but anyway let's open the the plugin uh yeah so let's look for contrast it's just this is the name of it so again accessibility checkup and when i select this text it already shows me okay the original and the negative of it and it shows me that in both it just fails it's in aa and triple a it fails now let me actually make this one let me make this one darker let me do it like that okay i'm gonna select the text again um hmm. it fails also here now that all is already weird honestly speaking in my opinion um let me do it darker yeah let me even do it extreme more extreme like this okay so here large text it's aa goes through graphics aa goes through graphics it means actually shapes okay if i do this shape and let's give it a white color let's say it it was an icon so it already goes through um but yeah but it, it's pretty weird honestly i mean that is pretty dark and if i do it uh let's say the other way around let me give it a dark one let's give it a dark text so you see the dark text actually on a light background it goes through in all of them when it's this amount of contrast okay if i'll make it a bit darker i think it's still the black text behaves better i mean even if it's a bit on a darker background i guess yeah it does go through so it gives you an indication by the way it works only with solid colors i mean if i will have a gradient here let me give it just a quick gradient um, let's do something like that and give it something like that. okay um hmm. One second why does it look so weird what is going on here okay that's a hundred percent um i don't see any reason for it to look like that <laughs> what's going on here um hmm. Oh, yeah, I did see it. something is wrong. I mean, I don't know. That was weird. Anyway, maybe I did something wrong. So it doesn't matter. Anyway, it tells you here, you might select the text. So you see, it tells you uh, no solid fields found. I mean, so it can't uh, give you the indication on solid, on sorry, on gradients or if it was an image. So it works only on solid colors, usually even for accessibility gradients just don't go there leave it out so that's the contrast yeah so i guess that this is cool okay finding page let's do it quickly finding page actually let's find the finding page <laughs> yeah finding page uh yeah run okay so this is a great plugin which actually gives you the uh the ability to search anything in your page in your file in a component and so on so search in selection if you select let's say a frame okay here let's say that i select a frame so it's going to look for it only here selection uh, current page or entire file if you have a file with a few pages you can find it will find you all the places that is in your file and it will jump between pages as well which is pretty cool okay 
current page let's go for a current page uh, match whole word or a part of it if not selected search in layers texts and let's see let's uh, write a word let's see uh, that's why I brought these paragraphs here let's uh, one second space okay the word space okay let's say that we're here and let's search for the word space um, search for layers and texts what actually it doesn't really matter in all layers and all text yeah I guess it texts hmm. okay let's put it on text and if I, okay select layer type oh so it has I see okay so you can even divide it by layer types okay I never actually got there but yeah anyway search okay so it found this one and when I hit it you see it comes exactly to where the word is which is pretty cool actually let's take a word actually that it's in both um, sorry okay anyway it's gonna each one when you have a few results so it's gonna jump between them let's go ahead and back to search and let's search for the word the okay so here it found in three places so I'm gonna click on one click on two and click on three so we jumped to the next frame so you see it goes like one after the other I mean it doesn't highlight it actually on the page itself but it does find you the spot like where it is which is good which is pretty cool and again you can uh, refine visible even hidden layers and you can also uh, find and replace which is pretty cool so replace phrase uh, replace the with let's say the with uh, me let's just yeah, give this word sounds weird but anyway uh, I'm gonna select where I want it to be changed and here we have the word the replace and boom it replaced uh, the with me anyway it did it in all the places that we let it one second uh, replace it and even here we had the word the and it replaced it with me so that's pretty cool it works nice great sorry great plugin and done with that so finding page done uh, better font picker just a kind of like a small handy plugin in figma if you see we don't have actually let, let me just jump into text yeah so when i actually open this drop down when I click on it you see that you don't have the font faces I mean it doesn't give you a preview of how the font looks you do have a lot of fonts but if you're not familiar with them you have no idea how they look so if you do need and you're searching uh, for a font um, let's say to decide make a design decision in your designs you want to pick the right font and so on so you have a plugin you can also actually access your plugins from here uh, if you do want to um, so yeah still yes of course and here because I have it installed so I can look for a better font picker better font picker it does show you the font faces so you can see actually how your fonts look and uh, it doesn't give it to all of them because some fonts are made without a preview so it depends how the font was made if it was enabled on it or actually designed to it or not so you'll see that on some you have some you don't but on the ones you have of course so let me just write here something it doesn't matter so if I select this font it's gonna change it to this font and I can uh, select fonts by the way it stops and loads more let it load yeah so now it takes it a bit time to load more so here I can you know, select any font that I want and see their font faces which is pretty cool okay nice better font picker again to any plugin that I'm showing here I am pretty sure there are more plugins kind of that do I don't know more or less the same um, or maybe even better or maybe not I'm not sure 
but I don't know all the plugins in Figma. Of course, I'm not familiar with all of them. I'm just showing you the ones that I usually work with. Okay, so that's the better font picker done. Remove background, by the way. Um, let's take, oh, let's now combine two plugins. So let's take this, uh, sorry, let's take this rectangle and uh, use the, let's take the unsplash animal and let's select this great fox okay actually it does have kind of like blurry edges here i don't know exactly how it will do it um let's try it on here yeah let's take an easy one okay if i'll take an easy one by the way this cute funny pug uh so i can uh, use the plugin which is called remove background they have also a website that if you take an image and throw on it it will remove its background again depends on the background that it has okay so let's search here for remove <clears throat> remove background this is it run select a single node here it is Oh, and then I have to uh, act activate it again, run, running, remove background, and background removed, but in some, for some reason, actually, it didn't actually remove its background, it just made it great, which is weird. Okay, let me just look for, yeah, dog, okay? let me just take an image from here and uh let's take this one for example okay copy image and let's go back to our figma and throw the image here okay good and now i'm gonna do the run of the remove background let's see what yeah so now we did it pretty nice cool so you see actually very easy very quickly you have this image which is pretty cool and nice uh and you know if you need kind of like quick burned images into your designs and you do need to select images which are not with a very kind of like uh i don't know blurry background or a tough one so it can't handle all the situations that great for example uh, let me just even take this one. So you see here, I don't know, around the, the edges, it's going to be kind of tricky. Let's try and see what it does. It's not going to work 100% on all of them. And that is also something to understand. Let's see what it does. Yeah, so you see, it's kind of, I mean, you know, it did it actually not bad, okay, because even to burn it in Photoshop, well, I don't know actually how Photoshop, with all the new plugins and abilities and so on and so on, I don't know how good actually it will do it, but it's not bad, okay. So anyway, choose uh, your image wisely with the right background and you can have easily and quickly something like that, which actually is pretty cool okay so that is remove background and that is this one split to frames which is actually pretty cool and very nice let's take this once and I, what i mean is you can actually take a frame let's say like that okay let's say i have a i don't know some kind of a design let me do a really quick thing here something like that yeah it's weird but anyway <laughs> just for the sake of the example that's good for us sorry i don't want this stroke let's give it a so, sorry let's give it a okay let's give it some kind of a i don't know this weird whatever design i'm gonna duplicate it uh, do another one here Let's give it a different color. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, this shiny purplish thing. And let's give it another one. Give it kind of a blue. 
Okay, so I have these three weird vectors in my frame. Okay, I have something like that. And let's say that even, you know what, let's even do something like this. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Something like that. Let's even, you know what, I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Let me just give it a different color that we can see the different. Yeah, that's okay. So I have this kind of weird, I don't know, say nothing design. Let's say that I'm going to give it a something that we can split easily. Let's give it uh, um, 1800 of width. So yeah, something like that. And the height actually, yeah, we can leave it the same. Okay, so we have this frame, this frame, sorry, and we want to split it into three even frames that contains actually uh, each one with its own part of our design. And it really doesn't matter what we have inside the frame. So let me uh, do this one second. Yeah, so let me do that split. Yeah, split to frames and run it. Okay, so the width is going to be, if we have it 1800, it's going to be uh, actually uh, 600. Yeah, sorry, 600. And a, let's say the height is going to be, let me see, uh, 1108. Yeah, we do have to do the calculation work for it. Uh, add grid so I can actually okay columns three one row yeah that's okay uh, and split okay cool so you see now we have that frame split it into three frames and it does uh, know to make it of course these uh, shapes they're all here I mean it doesn't go away okay if i'll double click so you see the vector is still here but it knows how to smartly and quickly actually uh, do that the uh, um, separation between them and give it to you like that which is pretty cool split to frames you can split anything you can split shapes you can split um oh no you know what on shapes i'm not sure it actually works let me see yeah i didn't try it on shapes if i'm kind of like yeah, let me just see add grid please enter numeric values uh, let's say let's give it a mm, 300 and something like that and let's give it a 100 and the height is going to be 216 split oh yeah it does okay so it actually splits uh, let me see Oh yeah, so it's split actually to three frames, okay? And the frames actually contain uh, this shape, but it does know how to split it into three, meaning it like it frames it and gives it in three, which is pretty cool as well, okay? It, does, it, it takes the shape and give it into three frames. Nice, okay, so it converts it into a framed shape. Good, so that's pretty cool. That's uh, split to frames, done. And Iconify, as I said, as I mentioned, I mean, I'm pretty sure that almost all the people in the world that use Figma, they are familiar with this uh, plugin, in case you are not. Um, so what this plugin does, it gives you, I guess, I don't know, even thousands or, I don't know, hundreds, no, not hundreds of thousands, maybe I got carried away there, but tens of thousands, I'm pretty sure, yeah, maybe that's definitely, yeah. Uh, icons it gives you a lot of icons that you can use and personally as i said i don't use it that much i mean sometimes i maybe can uh, take inspiration for there okay iconify yeah so this is the one i'm gonna just run it and as you see when it opens it has a lot of icon packs on it really a lot just a lot of icon packs and uh, you can search here for whatever you want you can go into let's say let's go into this one so you see I don't know different icons that you can use uh, and just you know go through its pages you can uh, filter it by different styles and different needs and uh, anyway 
let's search i don't know search search icon yeah so the search icon you see you have a lot of styles uh which came in here and i don't know evil icons and you can filter and see kind of like uh in each style what does it give you kind of icons you're getting from it um and that is that is iconic a uh, file i mean you can paste svgs you can even save your own you can also paste a svg uri plugin and try and decode it okay so that's nice kind of like uh you put you take an svg i guess code and you can make a, a saved icon out of it um so that is iconify and you have even in the community a lot of files with icons you can you have more plugins with a lot of icons and so on and so on anyway so as i said explore see whatever icons you need from it and kind of like that's about it okay guys i think that was quite enough for this uh tutorial and this session but again i'm focusing really on plugins that will speed up your work and let you actually put content quick and easy without having to search for it uh, or to kind of, or create it let's say if you just need you know images into avatars names emails addresses maps and so on so that does it very quickly and that's great because this this is content that just helps us really speed our work and not waste our time on things that are really not needed to be designed. Okay, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for being interested in this tutorial. Please, if you did like this tutorial, give me your like. I will be very happy for it. And even more happy if you subscribe to my channel. And for sure, more cool tutorials are coming up ahead as always. Thanks a lot. See you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.